welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a girl's talk on um losing your guitar <laughs> doing it for the first time um and i'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about making sure that you're ready to do it for the first time then i'll tell y'all about my first time the first thing is that you have to know the difference between like oh i'm horny right now and i'm and i'm ready and they do play off of each other like being ready you know means that you're horny but just because it's your horny doesn't mean that you're ready a good way to determine that is like you don't feel pressure you know what i'm saying like and you don't feel like you've been influenced to do it like just because your friends are doing it doesn't mean that you're ready to do it you're gonna know when you're ready like it's just you just know okay i'm ready for this um if you have any sort of hesitation about it you're not ready don't do it until you are 100 percent sure that you're ready to do it like when i was ready to do it i was like i'm ready to do it like i know i'm ready and i know i know who i want to do it to and i know that i'm ready <laughs> like that's how it was um and it's because like i knew myself i didn't let anybody influence my decision um the person that i was with was not um the person that i was with was not pressuring me like he wasn't telling me like oh like we've been together for the x amount of time like we you know it's time for us to do it he wasn't sitting over here telling me like oh well if we don't do it then you don't love me like it was none of that it wasn't no like oh well let me just you know stick the tip in like it was none of that none of that and i wasn't having none of that period you don't let any boy tell you that you're ready you know what i'm saying like no what is this how do you know if I'm ready? Well, yeah, I love you, but that doesn't mean that I have to do it to you. Love does not equal sex, period. So that goes into choosing somebody that you trust, making sure that the person that you're, you know, getting ready to do it to, you trust that he's going to take care of you, that he's going to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated your first time, having sex and that's just that like you need to make sure that he it's not it's not about him it's not about him it's about you and it's about you feeling comfortable the guy's gonna feel comfortable the guy is gonna feel fine he's okay he's itching it's about you you're allowing somebody into your energy you know what i'm saying so and he has to prove himself that he's worthy of your poom poom. Period. Like, don't let him think that, oh, because he's with you, that's enough. No, sir. No, it's not. <laughs> um. So, yeah, like, just be patient. Like, and don't feel the pressure. If he, if he tells you, um, um... Yeah, we've been together for this long. We've been together for a month. We need to be doing it by now. And if we don't do it, then I don't think I could be with you. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. I don't need to be with you anyway. Like, because obviously you're not with me because you like me. Oh, well, no, you know I love you. No, I like you. And I'm trying to show you that I love you. I'm trying to show you that I, I want you. And da, 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 da. Boy, Bye. <laughs> Show me you love me in another way. The, sex is not the only way to show somebody that you love them. Like what? Make sure that it's somebody that cares for you and that is allowing you to make that decision and tells you like, take your time. Like, I'm ready when you're ready. That's the type of person you want to be with. So yeah, and then... um so once you find you know once you are you know once you're ready once you find the person um then just talk before you go ahead and do it you know what i'm saying talk to somebody that you trust you know a, an older woman talk to a woman about it um 
because they'll be able to give you some advice on what to expect and i could do a video on that too like what to expect when you're gonna do it you know what i'm saying but every situation is different but i think there are certain things that every single female feels and goes through and stuff like that there are certain things that happen that you have to that you shouldn't be alarmed about that you should know and be ready for and i could talk to you about those things you know oh so, um definitely talk to the women in your life about that um and go to the doctor make sure that you tell your doctor that you um want to have sex they're gonna um you know ask you if you want to take birth control and you do yes i want to take birth control <laughs> because you don't want to get pregnant you know what i'm saying and they're also going to you know check you out just make sure everything is okay when you're getting ready to do it make sure that you use protection please 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 use protection please um not only because you don't want to get pregnant but because you don't want to catch a disease and don't let the boy tell you oh well this is my first time too like oh well, i'm not doing it to nobody else okay that's cool that's that's cool i still want to use protection though you don't know what the boy is doing behind your back you don't know what he's doing when he goes home and just because you're on birth control does not mean that you're not going to get pregnant there are people who get pregnant all the time who are on birth control don't have sex with somebody because you want them to be with you just because you have sex with somebody that does not mean that they're going to be your boyfriend and you might have crushes and you might like somebody but having sex with them does not mean that they're going to like you back period you're just going to be a notch on their belt if they don't like you so if you're looking for a relationship with somebody that you like i would suggest staying away from having sex making sure that they like you back and then once that's very clear then now's your time <laughs> but until then no don't do that you're going to get yourself hurt but yeah so my first time i was with somebody for two years and um yeah from my junior year up to my senior year to like right before i went left for college like i said before like he never he was very very nice like he never um he never pressured me i don't even know if we really had very many conversations about it like literally things just like happened yeah so i started feeling more comfortable so i went to my mom and i'm like okay like i'm having these urges you know i'm with somebody that cares for me you know my mom met him and stuff like that and um, I was just like, yeah, like, I'm ready to do it. And I was like, you told me to tell you when I'm ready to do it, so I'm telling you. <laughs> so I told her, and I know she was probably, like, freaking out and stuff like that. And then I went to the doctor, and the doctor, you know, asked me questions, um, you know. And the doctor asked me if I want to get on birth control. I got on birth control. And then... Yeah, I was just talking to my mom. My mom was telling me, um, like, kind of, like, what to expect. So, we went to prom together. And then the next day, um, we were just, like, laying down, watching a movie and stuff like that, you know. We just left because we was like, we're not about to do this in the house. So, we left. We went to the park. And then, um, yeah, we was in his car. And then, then it happened. Hey, that's to say, like. All through high school, I'm like, I want to lose it this way. Like, I'm not going to, you know, be that girl that loses on prom night. I'm not going to, like, no, I want this to be special. I want there to be flowers. I want there to be all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just had a vision. You know what I'm saying? And it obviously didn't happen that way. Like, it happened in the back of a car in the park, you know? And I say that to say, like, it's not necessarily how it happens. It's literally the most important part is choosing the right person. 
trying to tell you and like making sure that you're ready for it. I was comfortable. I didn't care where I was. Like you're getting ready to lose your virginity. You don't care about any flowers that are around you. You don't care about any of that. I mean, yeah, that can make the, the mood, you know, better. But when you're in that moment, I'm not thinking about that. The only thing that matters is me being comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And flowers, that doesn't make me comfortable. You know what I'm saying? The, the only thing that's making me comfortable is knowing that I can trust this person and not having any fear that he's going to hurt me or anything like that. Like, I knew that I could say stop at any time and that he would stop. That's what I mean by trust. Um, If y'all have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, and if you don't want to comment, because I know it can be kind of personal, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe and share this video i went on the road to a that um to a million followers but um i have a goal of 500 um subscribers by the end of june and i'm doing a giveaway for it so um, um if you know people who love youtube and stuff like that and they're looking for a new youtuber to watch go ahead and send them my profile but yeah so um i will see y'all next time and yeah, stay safe